Hi guys, I am Manav. Welcome to my channel, Movie Shuvi. What comes to your head when I say Frankenstein? A stitched up huge guy brought to life by a doctor or a scientist? Maybe this monster then struggles to cope up in a human world and wants to take revenge. On one hand, you might feel scary of his nuances and brutality, and on the other hand, you also think, why is he given life at all? Who's the man behind it? Chronicle of Frankenstein focuses on the monster, but not the stitched up huge guy, but the monster who gave it life and the motive behind it, which makes the series special, interesting, and very very real. Guys, it's a must watch. It's highly recommended. Sean Bean, we all know him better as Ned Stark, the righteous, brave, handsome king in the north from the Game of the Thrones series, stars in this intriguing 19th century British period drama series called The Frankenstein Chronicles on Netflix as John Morlot as a talented investigator and a good man. Before I tell you anything further about the story, it is important to understand the setup of the early 19th century with no law related to the practice of medicine. So there were all kinds of doctors and surgeons available advising people on diseases. That is a proper doctorate in medicine. Some were just followers of these doctors who began their own practice and even quacks who existed that point in time. Political setup during that time was also divided for and against the experimentation on human bodies for scientific discoveries and advancement. A law is under consideration for an anatomy act in a parliament to give the dead to the science for experiments and advancement while other demanded proper burial as per Christian beliefs. The series deal with this conflict between science and beliefs very very logically and beautifully. Now keeping that in mind the storyline goes like this. The story begins with John Morrow's discovery of a body near a river. At first it looked like a girl child around 12 to 15 years of age but later in a shocking discovery it is found to be a composite of at least seven children stitched and reassemble together. Now what follows in then a search for a monster with the face of a man who did this act. And John gets sucked deeper and deeper to solve this mystery. He wants to know the truth behind the beast if he wants to now catch him and he has the support of the local politician as well. In parallel, what we see that in the local parliament, there is a divide now. It is made to believe that this gruesome act on the bodies is done by the scientist who sparks a revolt against the anatomy act. Here begins the unraveling of the series Frankenstein Chronicles, where the dead now lives. Why is the Frankenstein even created? To stop the bill or to bring back the dead or win over death? See the series to find the truth. I cannot reveal much, otherwise it will be a spoiler. This series is actually a reimagined version of the Mary Shelley's 1818th novel which is called Frankenstein Again. The series is filmed in Northern Ireland which has lent a unique iry character to the series with a gloomy grey and blue hue, inland rivers and sketches of empty landscapes. Guys, what you will like in this series is the interesting depiction of the entire inception of Frankenstein, showing the references of science, medicine, education, even the laws surrounding it at a very nascent stage. That is very unlike the Frankenstein movie that we have seen, the plot that we have seen, which cuts straight to the monster and his revenge. What you will further like is the 19th century era, which is precisely set up with costumes, architecture, social and political setup as well, where the line between medicine and the law governing it is rather very, very blurry. To conclude friends, it is a must watch for all Game of Thrones fans who have loved Ned Stark before. John Merlot does not disappoint in this series as well and also for those who love British crime series. Binge watch it today guys. See you.